Good morning. Welcome to the lesson today. We're going to talk about Cloud Run connecting to Cloud SQL. So first thing I'm going to show already, I have already a SQL database created, which I used on the last lab for Kubernetes, whatever. In this case, we have a private IP address that is going to be useful for that. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to clone a project that I have that's um, a Cloud Run project. So first thing I have to do, I'm going to clone my, this product, which is going to be available on the description of the video. Okay, we're going deep there. What we have here, we have a Docker file for creating our image. So let's create our image, docker build dash dash t gcr.io google container registry slash project td slash our app name i'm gonna call it beanstalk if you are familiar to amazon of west you know what i'm talking about so let's create our image gonna take some minutes once the image is done you are going to be visible here on the container registry. It's going to take some minutes. And you're going to be see how simple it is to deploy a containerized application on Cloud Run. Well, if you're not familiar with what is a Cloud Run, it's a resource to run a Docker container image in GCP. It's a fully managed platform that runs as a stateless and auto scaling ADTP service. That what it is, Cloud Run. Take some minutes. Now I am going to show the Docker file, which is very simple. Maven, JDK, build alias, and that's it. It's easy. What I'm using this now is uh, just zipped for encryptation for connecting to DB. Alright, it's finishing the creation of our image. Let's double check Docker images. Oh, here we go. You have to push this image. So, command Docker push bin stock. Once it's done, you're going to see. Once it's pushed, it, you're going to see the images here. I already have this elastic, which is something I'm using for Kubernetes. Okay, let's just refresh. You have the image here. Okay, great. What we're going to do now, we are going to deploy on Cloud Run. Start using Cloud Run. Create a service. Let's select our image, bin stock, image did it, continue. Let's select a region, Iowa. I would prefer Minnesota, but we don't have Minnesota here. <laughs> Just kidding. Bin stock, allow and authenticated invocations. Let's show advanced uh, settings. Here, let's put some more memory, otherwise, not going to 
complete the deploy our scaling that's enough for a while let's add some variables in this product I well I don't like to use it secrets like these to connect in DB I prefer the encryptation with cipher or jazip for a spring boot so let's create the same virus this is as a not production product I'm gonna call it James as a user I have in DB so add connection we're gonna have our connection remember that we have an instance with this name that's an instance connection name we have so let's create running you can see logs let's go to stake driver which is much better if you're not familiar to stake driver please welcome to stake driver log newer logs oh, it's just a starting application okay load load let's wait a little bit load newer logs oh come on let's be more patient with that so revision back to stake driver once it's created we're gonna have uh, our domain name let's see looks like it failed Okay, let's check. Oh, you're going to have to redeploy this. Let's be back here. You're going to deploy a new version. Okay, let's just deploy a new version. Let's just deploy a new version. The location of memory. Secret user, secret pass, secret user, okay. Service account is correct. It's all we need, so let's just deploy. Let's just wait a little bit. It's going to start deploying. Just fail to execute a script. Start in deploying. Connect into the SQL database. Yeah. At this time, work it. Nothing changed on the progress was um, deployment stuff. Let's check our URL. And I definitely love when it doesn't run on the on a video because I can really check what's going on on the fly. It's not something that I cannot handle. I can handle everything here and change here. If you want, I can change the code to see different APIs. There are also different REST APIs. And here you have all definitions of the product. It creates a YAML file. 
you have details of it logs you see on stake drive revision and the metrics so you're gonna see the requests you did whatever here we go uh, okay so this is how simple it is to how to create a, a SQL MySQL DB inside Google Cloud Platform and to create an application using Cloud Run, using Docker, of course, and deploy there. So thanks for watching. This is the end of the lab.